Hey guys, gonna do a quick little update. This is the 1963 Ford F-250 with the Crown Victoria swap. We are running a 4.6 liter out of the Crown Vic with the attached AOD, I believe is what is in those things. I don't even remember. It's from a 2005. Uh, the front suspension system went in super easy. If you haven't watched any of my videos, then first bunch were about that. Um, custom rear suspension, kind of a, I'd say almost a three link setup, but with a Watts link instead of the third member. And in 1967, I believe it's a 22 gallon fuel tank for the uh, repositioning of the fuel tank. Just gonna go into a little bit of detail here just to show you guys how I did some of the stuff. Um, rad went in really easy, like super easy. All I did was put this little bracket up in here. All it is is a piece of flat metal. Uh, there was a piece that came out across here. As you can see here, I cut it out. I'm gonna have to do a little more refining on this thing before, uh, before it all goes back together perfectly. But as it is, it's going for sandblasting here right away. Um, so yeah, I cut that lip out and then welded this little bracket in here. All it's gonna have is a quarter inch bolt holding this down and uh, clamping that rad in. And then on the bottom end is just the opposite receiving portion. All it is is a couple pieces that are holding it. That's all it really needs. Um, for the time being, as far as I know, that's how it's gonna stay. Works really nicely come from the front and you look on the inside you can see it matches up pretty much exactly where it was from uh, OEM with the old one worked out pretty nice and I still have lots of room if I wanted to modify it oh, I'm in the sun. I still have lots of room to modify it and put the uh, air conditioning condenser in there um, 4.6 liter, I threaded out, or not threaded, I uh, leaned out the OEM Crown Victoria wiring harness and it runs, but uh, I've already had it up to my nose and I do not feel like playing with it any longer. So I believe we're going to spring for the, uh, I don't even remember what it's called, there's a uh, racing harness or a standalone harness custom harness on summit i believe it's about 1300 bucks and at this point it looks like it's well worth our money we did not box the frame up by these so what we did is we took the transmission cross member out of the crown vic and just modified it a little bit again i've got to go through it grind it all nice and clean and it should be completely fine there's no carrier bearing anymore on this this cross member had a carrier bearing, one or the other, but uh, it's all straight through dry shaft now. We're using the 8.8 .8 axle out of the Crown Victoria using the same Watts link. The Watts link connections, these, these guys here, all we did was modify them quickly. They're going to be rebuilt as new pieces because I don't like that. We don't know what kind of metal it is and I don't necessarily want to trust a sketchy weld especially when it might slide around corners pretty easy um, when it comes to suspension I'm gonna knock the edges off that guy and this guy's gonna get welded on the other side so we're gonna actually take it's all going for sandblasting right away so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take everything out of it we're gonna flip it over finish welding and then send it away for sandblasting so a little bit more yet to do but this is what it's gonna look like when it's done plus paint. Uh, all I did, this is all free to me because it came out of the Crown Vic. Well, not free, I paid for the Crown Vic, but um, the springs came out of the Vic, the shocks came out of the Vic, and what we did is we just created a bracket that welded onto the, it welded onto the axle, and it holds the spring on the backside as well as the shock. The shock is welded to the bottom not welded but 
the tabs are welded there where the shock can bolt. And it's getting windy, so I apologize for that if you can barely hear me. Uh, fuel tank is from a 67 Mustang, um, 22 gallon. We're gonna have this poke up out of the bed. It's just kind of in here because I had it running one day. Um, make sure that seals. The fuel pump is the same fuel pump that came out of the Crown Vic. I just modified the hell out of it. I don't know if I got a video of that or not. Hopefully I have pictures of it. That'd be kind of nice, kind of cool to show. But that's the way she's looking right now. Pretty nice little basic chassis to me. It's got the Crown Vic wheels on this side. Some rotten, well they're not rotten, they're weather cracked tires. So we're gonna burn them off just for the excuse to do them burnouts. And then we found old five, well they're not old, they're from like an old five or something. Five spokes and they're gonna get wrapped in something pretty nice because they're just bald Pirellis right now. And that is the way the chassis is sitting right now. Looks pretty interesting to me. I'm kind of curious as to how that rear suspension is going to work out because it's all custom. The front end is super easy for anybody who wants to do it. And if you leave the leafs in the rear end, I could see that being super easy too. But I wanted something a little extra out of this thing, so it's the way I went. If you have any questions, comments, go ahead and comment. I'll try and do my best to, uh, to reply answer your questions just figured i'd do a little quick update because i know it's been a while all right thanks guys